Okay then, let's find out exactly where they're hiding this lab. This has been a surprisingly long, totally hidden quest. I got people saying that they never even found this in the first place in their playthrough. Whoa! I do have the lightning fall. Have I just not been falling far enough yet? Maybe. Sure. Oh. Oops. Pressing bumpers on accident instead of the right... There we go, D-pad. So the lab's way down here. Entrance through here. Alright, over here on the right. And we have lightning floor. Yeah, this looks... Whenever I'm in the sewer, I can't quite tell if I'm in a new place or an old place, because a lot of the stuff looks the same, but the fact that there's a lightning trap makes me assume we're probably in a fresh-ish location. Gonna want to take care of that. Pew! That may or may not have worked. Hit. Ow. It mostly worked. Ow. It's all, it's all right. We can just accept what happened there. I'll recover. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, gun. Well, I'm curious. Does it attack you when you're behind the gate? I am behind a gate. I'm not in the restricted zone. Nope. Don't, doesn't care about me from here. That would be alarming if it just shot at people that are walking around in the sewer, which, admittedly, a sewer is a strange place to be, but... In this game particularly, it feels pretty normal for characters just to be around. That's just, yeah, that's, that's just the toolbox you can pick up. Alright then, let's see what we find out past this lightning. Whoa! Lucky little grab, huh? Okay, sure. Anything here do anything? Looks like mostly just sort of piles of junk. Lock, you say? Well, that's not good. Why did I open up this side path? I thought maybe I was missing something. Now I'm not so sure. Got multiple boxes. Maybe I can use all these boxes to my advantage? Let's see. Grab you. And you. And you you might break, though, because you're wooden. Probably should not rely on that one in particular. If I can get this door open, I can probably hide behind uh, those gates. Can I hide it? Can I, I can't shimmy up this pipe, can I? No, I, I climb on top of it. Yeah, it didn't seem like Adam would be able to go through something like that. But I was curious. Anything seem noteworthy in any other direction? I know, there's some... There's a few barrels up there, but I don't think this ledge really amounts to much. Oh. They're explosive. Oh. Icarus happened. Okay. Let's hide you around this corner. If I do use that to my advantage, I'm going to want to have control over when it goes off. I'll go ahead and grab the other one, too. Triggering Icarus is a little alarming when you're carrying an explosive barrel and it leads to you dropping said barrel. And you may not be totally into the idea of that happening. Alright. Not you. Start with the metal ones. Portable cover. Yay. Keep you on standby. Alright, what level are you? Oh, we, have the, we do have the code for this one. That part, that much is done. It did not immediately freak out. That's a hole in the floor, so be careful about that. Oh shit! Remember when I was talking about that hole in the floor? Ha 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 ha! Alright, so... Just as suspicious about moving crate as they sh as he should be. I can't move right now. Uh, rotate? I couldn't get through the gate. If I'm real careful about this, I can make a mess of everything. The crates may not actually have any impact on what I do here. Hi there! 
Oh. Ha. Huh. Surprisingly strong reaction to the movement of that one object. Oh, that's not good. I cannot see where the barrel even went. I was kind of hoping it would just explode when I threw it, because Jensen has a good arm, maybe? Now I'm kind of in some trouble. Alright. If I back off a little bit, maybe it'll be like, oh no, there is no intruder. Hey, yeah, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's just sneak. I can sneak. I'm good at sneak, right? Right. Right. Wait for it to look past us. Sneaky, sneaky. I am under you now. I am pervious to your sensors. Oh. Don't want to walk back in the line of sight. Do you show anything down there? Doesn't seem like it. I should probably just hop up when it's looking the other way so I can go past it. It can't hear me, can it? Guess if I move fast enough, I don't have to worry about it anyway. Hi. Would you kind- oh, level three. Is it looking at a wall now forever? That'll work. Alright, cool. That's adorable. Stupid turret. <laughs> I love that you can pick up turrets in this game. It's so silly. It's a minor thing I kind of forgot about from the first game. Because you didn't encounter that many. But I do remember dealing with that one guy in the sewer and then being able to pick up both of his turrets and throw them somewhere. Don't see much going on around here. There's the door, the side door we could open. I'm not really sure why I would, but let's do it anyway. That wood, which was once locked, is now unlocked. Boom. Mind blown. Take that, world. Okay. Hip. Okay, interesting catch. I don't think there's much evidence of stuff around here. What's that? Wait. Wait, is that safe? What was that? Hardboard box. You are safe. Look at you. EMP ammo, pocket secretary that might have the password to the thing I just- oops, just found. My call. It says keep your eyes open. My call. Someone is smuggling a, a product out of the lab. As a precaution, I've changed our security hub passwords to I'm Carcosa. I've been- uh, I've also installed new turrets. Make sure no one fiddles with any of the settings, especially the, uh, the one in the reactor room. Last thing we need is an explosion in there. Keep in mind the chemists are losing a lot of money by getting us involved in their operation. Imagine if someone took something from us the way he took Neon from all of them. Keep a close watch on them. Especially Harmony uh, Napkova. I don't like the way she's always alone in the back, always fiddling with the reactors. Alright. I wonder if Harmony is actually the person... Is, is, is actually involved in the smuggling or not. Either way, there's hints of possible explosions. Maybe I'll set off an explosion just for funsies. It could be fun, you know? Have a good time. That would get rid of the neon problem pretty fast. Although, you'd, as Jensen, you'd hopefully want to get rid of, you know, the people first. And not have them in the exploding room. So I saw one guy off in the distance. Ooh, crowded area. Shut up, micro- what? Why am I being spammed by my own computer? Leave me alone. It's a bad time. Okay, I can't take cover here. Instead, I zoom. Oh, sorry. That's... <laughs> I mean, I was doing a... I was doing the controls of a very different stealth game. You guys are going... You guys are going to slowly drive me crazy. All these different controls for, for first-person stealth games all at the same time. Okay. There's a camera up in the top corner. What I want is right in here, presumably, on this bottom floor. Yep. No big deal. Alright. So I'm trying to remember if... I was just trying to find out... Am I trying to destroy the operation? I'm sure I can. I haven't seen any of the chemists try to steal any... Surprised how many people there are in here. So we have like six guards, and at least one camera, and multiple scientists in here. It's very crowded down there. Uh, ideally I'd find a way to get them all to, like, to leave via... Maybe if I could set off some kind of alarm. Like an evacuation thing. 
And then maybe I could blow it up when they're gone. If that's even a thing I can do. Either way, I just got here, so let's throw a save down. Surprised that doctor agreed to keep working for us. Uh, is it safe to go up here? I'm a little worried that one guy might spot me over here. The one guy that's upstairs. Reminds me of that oral cemetery song. But they're not looking up. What happened to that one guy? Oh, he's, there's a separate room over there. I would never threaten you. Oop. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We got a bit of a problem. If there's too many people here, I'm gonna have to start dealing with that. I, I think I can do something with this computer if I could get to it fast enough. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Alright. Let's grab in your stuff. Put you over here. What did he say? What the fuck is who what? We're good? Okay, everything's fine. Always with the chips everywhere. Thank you. Let's see, I probably just picked up the password for you, right? Yeah, there we go. M. Car. Cosa. Alright, so, turrets. Oh. Can't do that without my power, that's fine. I can at least turn off every single camera so it doesn't try to actually catch me. That's a nice start. Lasers. Yeah, keep those off, there's the reactor. Alarm. Uh, no. Let's disable the alarm panels. There we go. I'm not trying to set off the alarm. Oh, that could be... It's too bad it's not like a fire alarm, or like something that could kick everybody out. That'd be pretty handy. Alright. Not a bad time to update. Because this is where things could get tricky. Alright, so there's no more... There's no longer any cameras messing with me. Now it just comes down to being able to sneak through here without being spotted. If I move fast enough, I think I might not even be in line of sight long enough for anyone to really notice me because of the whole filling of yellow meter thing. Is there someone else up here? Is that that's a turret, isn't it? What is that? that uh, oh, it's a camera. Okay. There's one scientist in here. Anyone else? Don't see anyone else yet. Bring it up. Uh, secretary? There we go. Uh, neon reactor codes. You've been very stubborn about keeping the neon reactor codes to yourself. You say it's for our protection, that you're the only one who who knows the, how to safely maintain the reactors. I think you're full of shit, Harmony. And so does uh, Sarnabug. Your knowledge of the lab isn't going to keep you alive forever, especially if we find out you're the one sneaking out the product. Make no mistake, the lab is ours now. It belongs to the Vali, and so do you. Well, I assume that's who we're talking about then? I guess the question there is, can I just talk to the dude? Um... Is there a, oh, yeah. Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? This is a restricted lab. A neon lab, isn't that right? I've seen what your drug does to Ox. Hmm. Maybe I should call in the guards, hmm? You can discuss the ethics of Neon with them. Give me one good reason not to trigger the alarm. For starters, because I can move a lot faster than you. So how about neither of us do anything rash just yet? What is it you expect from me? I'm just a chemist here. She's very shouty, isn't she? She's gonna get in trouble just from being loud. Let's see. I'm gonna warn her- I can warn her that people can get hurt. Or I can say that her product's killing people. Yeah. You make a product that kills people. I'm not leaving until that's no longer possible. And you're gonna help me. Why would I help you? People have a right to- To disconnect from the world. To do whatever they want to their minds. Their bodies. I see no reason why that should stop. 
Things in Prague aren't exactly looking up right now. I'm not saying Neon is responsible for that, but it certainly isn't helping. Not me, not you, not anyone. Now as resourceful as I may be, you know this lab better than I do. I'm asking for your help. You're right. Recreational drug use is not the reason the world is falling apart. If anything, riding the rainbow is one of the few things still... still holding some of us up. Why take that from me? Why take it from anyone? Very heavy on Omega, so she's stubborn, defensive, and clever. Uh, subject exhibits a fierce willingness to defend herself and her interests at any cost. She will be reluctant to acknowledge any responsibility for fear of compromising her self-esteem. Though she may be persuaded to take the lives of others into account, it is not a position that comes naturally. So I can't blame her, or she'll not... She won't take it well because she's too stubborn and defensive. So I need to appeal to her in ways that aren't blaming her specifically. Let's see. So for Omega, reverse psychology is the thing that fits the best. I'm not convinced that I actually need your help. It's pretty obvious that all you do is shoot a couple... Uh, all I have to do is shoot a couple of these tanks. Any monkey with a gun can do that. Oh. Interesting. So play with the idea of just shooting the tanks and then she's like, No, 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 I'll do it the, the, the other way. Instead of blowing everything up. Make it personal. You're one of the users too. Yeah, she's not going to acknowledge that she's a drug addict. And I don't know if she cares about the law. She had no response to Alpha in particular. I'm not convinced I actually need your help. It's pretty obvious that all I have to do is shoot a couple of these tanks. Any monkey with a gun can do that. You mean the reactors? You're not serious, are you? You wouldn't actually be that reckless. Would you? Why not? I'm here to halt the production of Neon, sabotage this whole operation. I think my way sounds pretty good. Your way would kill us all! Please, for everyone's sake, you have to rethink your plan. Please! Heavy on Beta and Omega. We could keep playing it. Let's see. Alpha's not gonna work here. Let's see. I've seen Og suffer every day. Seeing them get desperate. Last thing they need right now is some popular new street drug that helps them to kill them. I don't think that, uh... Yeah. I don't think her acknowledging that something that the thing is not working is gonna work. Let's see. Reverse psychology. I'm overthinking all this. I've asked some high school chemistry drop. I'm asking. Oh. Uh. I don't know if this. This this involves some insulting her a bit, and I don't know if that works. Although it's not her responsibility, it's just an insult, which is different from being. The other thing we're dealing with right now. I'm overthinking all this. I'm asking some high school chemistry dropout for information she probably doesn't even have access to. Information I don't even need. Bad things inside of tank shoot tank. So obvious it hurts. I'll tell you what hurts. Toxic explosions. Neon may make people see the rainbows, but it's not the rainbows inside those reactors. My god, you would actually go through with it, wouldn't you? Please, I'll do anything. Just do not shoot the reactors. You're making the right choice. What is it exactly you need from me? This is fun. It's like I'm channeling my uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong character that solved problems mostly by punching them. <laughs> we can sabotage it or the, so you're the expert. So, uh, disrupt the synthesis project. We need to stop the synthesis of the drug. Without killing us all, that'd be good. Dun dun dun. I mean, sabotage would be good. But they're the expert. The question is whether or not I should trust them. Ah. Let's give her the shot. I feel it's probably a bad idea to have Jensen play around with things. You're the expert here. Anything I do is likely to cause an explosion neither of us want. So I'm just gonna sit back and watch you sabotage your operation for me. It's not exactly my operation. More of a collective, really. I'm just one chemist. One chemist who, I assume, knows how to do what I'm asking. 
Yes, I know how. I'll... I'll take care of it. Just try not to get in the way. She's gonna hit the alarm, isn't she? Don't hit the alarm. Don't do a bad idea. I'll shoot the tanks out of spite at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Could still do it. You never know. <laughs> we went and got ourselves a level up too, by the way. I saw that pass over. So we have one more Praxis. Question is where I'm trying where I, where do I even want to put the next one? Maybe we'll think about that a little later. Well it's always tempting to go further into batteries, of course. Let's see, we already got the recharge rate. I could pump up its uh capacity a bit. That'd be nice. Oh, let, you know, let's get into hacking. I don't have the ability to even hack certain things yet. There's also this turret, yeah. I need access to higher level hacking systems, and then I also need the ability to hack robots and uh, turrets so that they're not dealing with uh, causing problems for me. So let's go a little bit into there. Because I've got a lot of the, mo of the uh, mobility and resistance type abilities I'd like. Now the big stuff is just the computer conquering. Oops. You can't force me to speak to you. <laughs> you can't force me to speak to you. It's done. No more synthesis. No more neon. It's over. You got what you wanted. I hope so. What's gonna happen to you the moment they find out? Like, aren't you? you... Look like you afford your own. Why are you randomly shouting about stuff? Oh, she's mad because I she saw me pick up a thing. Right. Right. Alright, I guess I just leave now. And try to get caught on my, on my way back out. Any cool stuff stashed around here? Yeah, there's a whole lab in there, and they're gonna be real not displeased when they find out that nothing's working anymore. Uh, good luck, lady. Sure hope this worked out. The quest is listed as over, right? Like, one way or another, uh... Jensen at least believes that the problem was taken care of. So I guess we'll go back to uh, the Samus dot situation. We haven't... <laughs> we got sidetracked away from the, the whole... Uh... Ooh, I can go under here, huh? Ooh, Biocell. We got sidetracked away from the whole... Uh... I should really go back the way I came from. The whole independent journalism situation so long ago that I've lost... I almost forgot that we had that thing going on. <laughs> this neon quest was... Surprisingly extensive for how hidden it was. Alright. We just need to get back out without blowing it like we have in the past. So, so far, the only thing that spotted me was a turret. And the only person I took down was the was the guy that watches the computer. Which seemed like a pretty logical one to take a moment to attack. Would prefer to ghost it whenever ch I give it, get the chance, or at least try to ghost it, but he was patrolling in literally the spot that I needed to deal with, so it seemed like a... Uh, Best case scenario was to just get around that. And we're clear. Success? Let's just get back up to the surface. Oh, ah. Okay. First person nailing it. Wow. Totally nailed it. <laughs> Why must you narrow beam of sadness? Can I go through here? Is there anything cool in here? I'm curious. That doesn't open. That's just a newspaper. Nope. You don't open, right? Nope, just a boring dead end. It exists because of reasons. Let's hop on up. Alright, let's get ourselves back on track. So, dig up dirt in the CEO's office. I've agreed to help Kay with his media crusade. He says the CEO of Palisade Property Bank, Ashina Talawar. Or Talwar, uh, likes to keep dirt on all her big clients, including Pika's Media. I need to get into her office and find something like a dossier or an email. Anything Kay can use in to incriminate Pikus. And there's Palisade Property Bank, which is right on the left side of the larger part of our city environment. It might be the biggest building in the entire game so far? Yeah. It looks massive, actually. 
Whoa, I didn't I hadn't looked up yet. How is a building even this big serving in this environment? It must it must deal with a larger region, right? Because it seems like a single building that could house the entire city that we've encountered so far. I guess the implication is the city is supposed to be way bigger than the part we can see of it, and we're just not allowed to walk much of anywhere in it, and it's supposedly a huge area. Alright. Could use the front door, but I'm just, of course I'm going to look around to see if there's some weird side vent or surprise or something. That wall looks short enough that I could probably get on top of it. I mean, logically, it's a bank that's open to the public, like you could just walk inside. Hello, vent. And since I can just walk inside, I could then... Oops. Didn't jump correctly. Whoa, that was a trick jump, wasn't it? I didn't even mean to go in the vent. Yep. There we go. Want to see if anything is up here. Uh, obviously, it's up to open to the public, so I could just walk inside, and then from there we could see where we can go from there, but I want to see the area a little bit. This oddly looks like it's placed as if to let you go up here on purpose. Not, not, not that this is related to the mission, but I'm curious about... This weird string of connected platforms. Am I gonna be able to pop in a window somewhere? Those don't look like those don't look like playable windows to me. That looks like it'll go nowhere. Could hop along this balcony. Oh, after I hit my head on everything. Anyone in here? Sneaking into random houses for no reason. Might as well at least trigger this, right? Global po politics review. <laughs> oh. There's a gun in here. A stun gun? Oh. Alright. Just destroyed somebody's ability of defending themselves when something goes wrong at some point in their lives. So, feel good about yourself, Jensen. Oh, that's a light. It looked like an item. There is not much going on around here, is there? Nope, not a lot of dirt to dig up here. Unless their computer is super susceptible to something. It's easy, it's easy to hack. It is funny imagining just like... Jensen just wandering into people's houses and hacking through their stuff. Because like they're... With how things are going on around them, life's probably depressing enough without like... A random stranger breaking their house and hacking their computer to read their emails that they have no reason to care about. Katerina Vodro... Ah, Vondrux. It's too much. I can't. Martha. What if, uh... Okay, first of all, the usual problem. Shut up. What? The dialogue kept playing after I turned it off. That was weird. I thought it was going to keep going for a second there. Whatever your reasons, I am not unsymp unsympathetic. Uh, believe me, this is the worst time you have chosen to contact your family. Don't you understand? When nobody knew anything, you, we were, you were safe. But now that your sister knows the truth, she has a dangerous secret. The ruthless single-mindedness of men like your husband make them very dangerous. You, they know how to force people to reveal things. Please, several contact with your sister immediately for everyone's safety. I will speak with her in person, explain things, and give her any assistance with uh, Christoph I can. Meanwhile, you and I shall have to discuss relocating you and Lucas once again. Legal custody. Mrs. Bobic, or Babic, I have a, I've created a file for you that now officially makes me your legal counsel, with all the protection under the law that affords. I have also been in contact with Miss, uh, the same name again, Vondrakova. And she has familiarized uh, me with your situation. I regret that I must point out that a very intricate legal complication with your desire to reassign custody of your son to your sister should should this happen anything happen to you. Uh, while organizations such as the Slavic Foundation for Battered Women function with the full sanction and support of the countries in which they operate, many of the actions they take out of necessity, although themselves legal, uh, confer no legal authority. In other words, although he believes you both to be deceased, as far as the law is concerned, Mr. Bobak is still your husband, and Lukas is his son. Therefore, Mr. Bobak maintains a full custody rights to, uh, of a married birth parent. If Mr. Bobak were augmented, it would be relatively easy to strip him of any rights to, uh, with regard to your son, but since that is not the case, the only way to secure your son's future will be to sue for full custody. 
which would of course entail revealing your secret to Mr. Bobak and to the court. Please let me know how you wish to proceed. Marta. It was a miracle to see you again after all this time, especially since I thought you were lost to us forever. God, all the time we have wasted because of that monster. And Lucas, I am so proud of my nephew. But I heard on the news that the, that the tragedy of the train station, uh, it coincided with the time your, your train was due to arrive. I called and left a message yesterday. Maybe you did not receive it. The news said that all the chaos in Prague has created communication problems. Please, reply to this as soon as you can, and let me know you're alright. I cannot bear the thought that, that I've gotten my dear sister back only lose her again. There's some darkness there. The idea that, uh, someone was... Uh, had, someone had an abusive husband and went into hiding pretending to be dead, but then they can't get custody of their children because they're supposed to be dead, and... They, they, the, 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 the husband has to have custody of the children because he thinks he's the only living parent of them. And he's not, and he's not augmented, which is apparently another way that you can just strip children out of people's families, so that's great. And then, uh, <laughs> and uh, after all that, like, you, you, you either reveal your existence back to this person that you've tried to escape, or you give up on your children. And that's a hell of a situation. Well, those life situations where there's just like no... There's no answers. Hello, other person's house. I'm here now. Are you here now? You are not here. There's distinct lack of you. Whoa. Scratched out faces. Vengeful X wander in here and destroy people... Destroying people's stuff? The part where, the, where both parts of the uh, couple are scratched out is interesting. Thank you. What do we have? Got some more sellable stuff. We're gonna be rich! Rich on the backs of all the people we've taken from. <laughs> Aha. Always with the hacking software. There's so much hacking software in random people's houses all the time. What are these? Mostly chips and cereal? <laughs> Kuzelny Skritik. Suspiciously delicious! Yes, you should be worried about that, perhaps. True goat cheese. Summer chips. Oh. Oh. Oh, did I do that? I'm sorry. Or is that supposed to be on? There's like a box of tissue on a turned on stove? The way that the stuff was scratched out, it almost would be fitting if somebody was like trying to sabotage this place. Like they, out of spite, were trying to destroy everybody. Like, they turn on the, the stove with the hope of it starting a fire and then just taking off. But I stopped it. Ooh. Biocell opens this up, apparently, right? Yep. What's in there? Aha. A terminal. I don't have the code for or the ability to hack. That minor issue. I could hack it with parts, potentially. If I have enough. I do not. <laughs> Wait, I picked up- I, put, I picked up a multi-tool earlier, though, so we're good for that. You also have a high ranking. Julian Bartek. You're important, aren't you? You're not just some ran- this isn't just some random apartment this time. Okay, also, is that stuff up there? Wait, those are parts. Hit. Oops. Okay, I'll take that too, I guess. That was an accident. Got ourselves some more parts. Well, isn't this place creepy? Okay, I can't- can't really stand up. Okay. Just wanted to look closer at this place. Okay, weird how it's the same photo. He's dedicated, so he stabbed... He used knives to stab, stab these photos into the walls, scratched up their faces, but he also cut out separate pictures of their heads to scratch up their faces again. And then he, like, put another copy of their picture on their bathroom, and then also scratched out those faces. So, like, that's like... That's like a very... Insane repetition, like a dedication to hating this person. That's kind of impressive, if it wasn't like insanely creepy. And I'm opening all of his doors, just getting some fresh air in here, it's fine. So the question is, do I want to hack his computer, or his safe? Because as of right now, I have no reason to think that I'll be able to hack both. How many multi-tools do I have? My multi-tool is... somewhere... Oh, I have two of them. Isn't that convenient? Maybe I don't need to choose. Unless I get in trouble immediately when I, uh, 
go inside that safe and need a multi-tool potentially, but maybe I'll level up by then and get another point into hacking. You know what? Let's start with the computer, just in case the computer can unlock this, this safe. That's the smart thing to do. This seems like it might be contextually important information somehow. Oh, case review termination. Veronica Hamill to Julian Bartek. Having extensively reviewed your case of alleged wrongful termination against the Palisade Bank, I am prepared to make an evaluation of your legal position in the event of your filing suit against them. As indicated during our first meeting, the evidence you have submitted to me is not sufficient to demonstrate the security issues were as the result of negligence on the part of Daniel Jankek. Rather, that, rather the current understand, understanding of the situation presented with the available documentation and written testimony demonstrates the contrary. He has effectively not only covered his own culpability, but also created a trail of evidence very damning to yourself. Uh, of further damaging concern is the recorded evidence of your hostile reaction to Mr. Jankek and your uh, clearly audible threats against both uh, Masaki Ashiro and Ashani Tawar. All of this would provide substantial ammunition if this went to trial. Oops. The implication remains that if you pursue them, they would countersue for a loss of revenue due to your alleged incompetence. The evidence they have against you, while certainly contestable, would sustain a very costly defense in civil court, which, observing your current financial standing, would prove absolutely ruinous should the court not rule in your favor. Without a clearly damning piece of evidence that implies Mr. Jensek's role in this, it is my belief uh, that should you intend to pursue Palisade Bank, you would almost certainly lose, and with prejudice. Veronica Hamill. Whoops. Then, a uh, message from Mike Wexley. Julian, I was going to ignore the last email, but, email, but I, st I still can't believe it. I can't be involved in this. Maybe you need to see a psychiatrist. I'm not kidding. You're scaring- you're starting to scare me. What Palisade did to you was crap, Julian, but the man I knew before you started working there would never have asked me to do this, and definitely not by using my personal email to do it. I work for Tarvos and to protect the Palisade from people like you. In case that irony flew too, uh, too high above your head, we're friends, sure, but that doesn't mean I'm going to suddenly smuggle you into the bank, for God's sake. Let this go, Julian, please. Your plan's ridiculous anyway. The parking garage is as well guarded as anywhere else in the bank. There's no- there's so many of us patrolling down here that we even have our own security room now. Don't mess your life up more than it already is. Suck it up, speak to Ness, and move on to something new. You're a talented guy. You'll find something in Prague, I'm sure. Interesting. So we, we may have just opened up the idea of using the parking garage as an alternate way into the bank to get to where we're trying to go. But they are saying that it's, that is guarded, so it may not be a it, while being an alternative, it might not be a good one. We'll see. But I definitely need to level up my hacking so I don't have to use all of these all the time because it's it's going to keep costing me more, and not necessarily ever be worth it. That's a uh, four uh, over three hundred credits. That's something. May that the last yeah that may have not been worth the uh, multi tool. Don't know for sure until you try, though, because otherwise you just see a series of boxes, and you're like, that's a box! Don't know what kind of box. Oh. Is that the same photo? That is the same photo. He really has just been scratching out their names over and over again. That's creepy. So those are the people that supposedly wronged him. Bank lobby plan. Look at this! There's actual photos of various parts of the, uh... Of the building we're trying to get into. Why... Why is there... Why are none of these bags of chips open at anywhere? Who leaves a, who leaves a magazine uh, on the sofa itself, too? Alright. Well, this guy's ultra paranoid and might be dangerous, so let's, uh... Close all this stuff back up. So he doesn't freak out. Oh, right, we have to use this. See if we can avoid him totally freaking out and, like, doing something dangerous because he thinks something happened. Oh, I can't really close you again, though, can I? And that's using the bio... Nope. How did that even go up there, by the way? It just slid up the wall. Like, what is powering that... Is it hanging from strings from the ceiling? I don't know how that, that portrait moved. So he was working on a plan... Let's turn the, that back on. He's working on a plan to break in. He's wronged by some of the people we're trying to get into their stuff, but... Unless I'm really gonna analyze this map... Which just has a circle on it, really? 
Oh, sewers and bank lobby. They're highlighting the idea that there's a corner of the sewers I can get in through. We could see. Or I could just top in that vent. <laughs> They're both potentially options. Hep. Oh no. We do have a little bit of that return of the... Man, uh, not human revolution issue where you want to just hop down to a specific ledge, but if it triggers Icarus, then you're going to automatically go the wrong way anyway.